Yes, good evening, YouTube. Uh, this is a little update on my Synology Disk Station SSD cache installation. And it had been running well for two months. And this weekend, I accidentally shut off the power and turned the disk station and the SSD cache off without a proper shutdown. Didn't really plan to do that, but uh, everything came back up except the interesting thing that happens, I guess it actually makes sense, is that the SSD cache essentially reset to uh, zero. It's, it's now climbed up to 19% used in a, about a day and a half. If you look at the way it's implemented, the the cache itself, the data, is of course stored on the SSDs and they would be non-volatile. The problem is it's the system memory down here. If I move that up, that's your uh, system RAM. And this is the 1.09 gigabytes of system memory that's used to store the tables that index into the SSD cache that get wiped out if you do an improper shutdown. Everything that's in the cache is also written to the hard disk. You don't lose the data, so it'll take another you know, month or five weeks until I get back up close to 100%. At least that was a, a good test that I didn't lose any data. The disk station did tell me that there was an improper shutdown and it it came back up and it was rather busy for a while. You could hear the hard disks were going. I imagine they were, you know, checking and uh, repairing any inconsistencies that were found. It didn't report any uh, errors and it was usable as soon as I turned it back on but yeah that's uh, something to be aware of. It, cache data in the SSDs is non-volatile but this memory right here the one you know however much system memory you're using to uh, store the indexes into the cache that data it is volatile so to speak, you know, and if you lose power, you lose that one gigabyte of system memory contents, and that's what tells you what's in the cache. So essentially, when you start back up, that uh, cache has to start over from zero. And I imagine when you do a proper shutdown, that one gigabyte of system memory is probably written to the hard drive someplace so that when you boot back up it gets read back in because I I have done you know proper shutdowns and started back up and the cache resumed uh, you know from where it left off but if you just uh, kill the power or lose the power without a UPS backup it will uh, reset your cache back to zero so yeah I just wanted to point that out I you know, it makes sense once you think about it, but it's it's not obvious. You think, oh, SSD, then if you lose power, they store the data, but the problem is if you don't know where that data is or what it came from, there's no way to reconstruct the cache data. So, yeah, just a little update on my SSD cache install have to start looking at some sort of backup uh, power options here in the near future. That's that's on my list. It's just not uh, at the top of the list yet. So I'll uh, try to post this up in a video and uh, as a follow-up. Uh, the cache itself is working pretty good. It'll take a while to build back up. So in the meantime, it's kind of back to normal speed. 